Joe Biden is going to a, a convention that will look to further restrict the Second Amendment. Yeah, the president going to a convention to violate the Constitution. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an accredited college. It's a distance learning institute where everything is mailed right to your door, where you can take individual classes or you can even earn your degree in classes such as ballistics or gunsmithing and the like. There's a ton of different options. You can check out their link down below. It's sdi.edu slash gng, and they even have financial aid available. Check them out, guys and gals, sdi.edu slash gng. Thanks to SDI for sponsoring this video. All right, everybody, my name is Jared. This is Guns and Gadgets. I bring you news every single day about the Second Amendment, whether it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, whether it's litigation or le legislation and anything in between. You can find it right here, so subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in the know. I want to start out the day by continuing my quest on accuracy and accountability. Um, in the immediate aftermath of House Resolution, House Joint Resolution 44's vote, we learned that some uh, of the Republican Party did not vote. There were no votes because they weren't in the chamber. I have heard from two of those representatives, and I want to correct the record. So Representative uh, D. Esposito had a death in his family. He did fly back to D.C. Uh, for the, uh, the votes, but wasn't in the chamber in time for this vote. So family first, uh, Congressman, sorry for your loss. And uh, thank you and your staff for reaching out. I want to correct the record because I strive to be accurate and uh, accountable, just like I want politicians to be. Also, Congressman Finstad, who was, like I said, uh, was a co-sponsor of the bill, and I told you we would probably learn more of why he didn't uh, show up. Uh, he actually had a fire in his home on Wednesday and was not able to be in attendance. Obviously, you take care of your family first, family first always. It is honorable and respectable. Uh, but he is back in Washington, uh, back at it now. And I appreciate those congressmen for putting family first. Now on to this video. Uh, there will be a National Gun Safety Summit held in Connecticut uh, at the University of Hartford tomorrow, which is Friday, June 16th. Uh, President Joe Biden is expected to be in attendance. Shocker. And joining Joe Biden will be Connecticut's uh, anti-gun senators, Chris Murphy, and Richard Blumenthal. The summit is called the National Safer Community Summit, and in addition to the president and his anti-gun senators from Connecticut, uh, gun safety advocates and members of gun violence prevention programs will also be in attendance. Part of the focus of this event will be implementing the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which was signed into law by Biden, and we know that we were, we had, we were, we were let down by our Republicans in Congress uh, and it's already being called the most significant gun violence prevention legislation in over three decades. So think of it this way. Taxpayer money is going toward Joe Biden attending an event that is focused upon infringing on our Second Amendment rights and violating the Constitution of the United States of America. Stop and think about that for a minute. I mean, what do you think the response would have been, say if President Donald Trump had gone to a pro-gun summit with groups like Gun Owners of America, Firearms Policy Coalition, Second Amendment Foundation, and more. The list can keep going, but I'm sure it would not have been tolerated uh, at all. <laughs> at all. I mean, think of how the heads would have melted. Uh, folks, I bring this to your attention because I think it is imperative that we pay attention to what is coming down the road. Uh, we have a president that is hell-bent on deleting our right to keep and bear arms at all costs. Whether it be with legislation or by executive fiat, the Second Amendment has never been under attack like it has been under the Joe Biden administration. If you value our right to keep and bear arms, which keeps this country free from tyranny, by the way, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets, and I will keep you in the loop. <laughs> Whether it's litigation or legislation or anything in between, I'll bring you what's going on in the Second Amendment realm, no matter where it happens in this great country. Uh, it's just amazing to, to me to think how far we have come from what our founders intended. It's, you now have a president, the leader of the country. I, I know there's issues about if he's a resident 
or president, right? But you still have the leader of the, the leader of the free world who trips over everything. You have him going to an event in his own country, which looks to undo the written rules, the SOP, standard operating procedure, uh, of of his country. I mean, it's it's unfathomable. I, I mean, I love each and every single one of you. I thank you for your support. Uh, this <laughs> this bears watching because you know that they are going to continue uh, to push this old man to do more. They're never satisfied, the anti-gunners. They are never satisfied, and they're coming for more, which is why I will be here to tell you everything that they're doing so that we can stop it and meet it face-to-face. -face. Hope you have a fantastic day. Until we see each other again, take care.